Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Ingita Bhardwaj, and I am MBBS MS ENT. Today we will be uh, discussing about vertigo. So, in layman language, vertigo is defined as some rotational movement, some spinning. So, what? Uh, it is not a disease. Basically, it's a symptom only. So, what patient experiences is either the his surroundings are spinning or rotating or he is rotating there are primarily uh, vertigo can be divided into uh, three basic categories one is peripheral then there is intermediate then there is central so in peripheral vertigo our in central vertigo there is involvement of brain in intermediate vertigo there is involvement of your vestibular nerve and in peripheral vertigo the end organs of the vestibular system they are involved so basically in ent we deal with peripheral vertigo so basically in ent we deal with peripheral vertigo so there are three types of uh, uh, diseases in which peripheral vertigo they uh, it occurs first is bppv which is benign positional uh, vertigo then uh, second one is meniere's disease and then there is vestibular neuronitis so in bppv what happens is that vertigo is for is just for few seconds only and it occurs whenever there is change in the position of the patient right if uh, they are uh, turning from right to left or they are standing from sitting position and in vestibular neuronitis what happens is that patient uh, has some underlying condition some underlying like sinusitis or some respiratory tract infection some viral infection has occurred patient gives history and that it leads to vestibular neuronitis then in meniere's disease is also known as endolymphatic hydrop in in it what happens is that the endolymph basically it is a fluid which is filled in our vestibular organ its secretion gets increased and its absorption is lower so that is your meniere's disease so in uh, bppv there is no nausea or vomiting and in vestibular neuronitis there can be nausea and uh, vomiting and in uh, meniere's disease it is always associated with nausea and vomiting in bppv there is no tinnitus or hearing loss same with vestibular neuronitis no tinnitus or hearing loss but in meniere's disease uh, there is a uh, tinnitus and associated hearing loss for bppv the vertigo it uh, lasts for a few seconds and uh, in uh, meniere's disease the vertigo it lasts for a few minutes to hours and in vestibular neuronitis vertigo it lasts for few days for the treatment of uh, vertigo in uh, bppv what happens is that it is associated with position so what we can do is that uh, there are certain positional tests which uh, there are certain positional exercises which can be done like epley's maneuver is done and uh, by the time it gets repeated we keep on repeating at least maneuver and patient symptoms they get alleviated by that then uh, secondly there there are certain exercises like kupsi kawthan exercises which can be done for the uh, vertigo in bpp then for vestibular neuronitis what we do is that patient is admitted and we give a uh, treatment like labyrinthine sedatives to the patient and with the time uh, the patient gets healed and vertigo is reduced it lasts for a few days in meniere's disease uh, what uh, we can ask the patient to reduce the water and salt intake we can ask them to reduce uh, tea coffee then uh, if there is any allergen uh, surrounding them uh, we can uh, ask them to eliminate that Uh, we can ask the patient to reduce stress by doing meditation exercises and yoga then what else we can do is um, we can give certain dr- drugs like labyrinthine sedatives and uh, we can give certain diuretics which reduce the uh, blood volume uh, what else we can do is uh, there are certain if patient does not get relief then there are certain uh, surgeries which can be performed there are two types of procedures either conservative or destructive 
uh, or some shunts may be applied to the vestibular organs so that the uh, patient gets relief. Mm-hmm.